Welcome to Gallifrey Pirate Radio. And I am your host, one of your hosts, uh, David Bochon. We have sex. And my life doesn't make sense anymore. Clay. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we just finished watching uh, The Two Doctors, which sort of wraps up our retrospect on multi doctor storylines. Besides, of course, the David Tennant, Peter Davison um, special, but we will be doing that in the near future. I got I got a surprise for the two of them for when we're actually going to do that episode. Is it painful? No. Okay. It's actually brilliant. Um, <laughs> but I believe that Clayton would like to start off this week. I have no idea what he's going to say, what he's going to do, but it should be entertaining nonetheless. The two doctors is to multi-doctor episodes of Doctor Who as the human centipede is to cinema. <laughs> they took three things I don't give a shit about and then stitched them together to <laughs> create this unholy monstrosity that felt more like work than any other incident of me watching Doctor Who ever has. I wasn't really a fan of the three doctors, but the two doctors manages to take about 30 minutes of story and cram it into a two hour and 15 minute period of time. No, it was an hour, oh yeah, well, 134, five minutes. Yeah. You're right. Two thirds of each episode was nothing but pointless filler. Entire story arcs that go nowhere, building up characters that don't do anything. The entire <laughs> thing is just an exercise in utility that has reminded me that God is dead and we killed him. Or rather, Colin Baker did. Well, I mean... I mean the writers. Yeah, I can't blame Colin on that one. Because as, as I told you before, um, during the Colin Baker seasons, um, the BBC really wanted to murder who, and you just saw <laughs> part of the bastardization of Okay, food. okay, what you're saying is true in the same sense that Pontius Pilate technically isn't the guy who killed Jesus. No, I think, I think, I don't think uh, Colin was given a fair shake. Um, I'm, I'm sure agrees. that's true. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, there were actually some really good episodes of of Colin. Why didn't we watch some of those? Because, you know, we're doing... We've been the doing shock things. Factor. You know, we, we've now taken care of the five doctors, the three doctors, the two doctors. I like the five doctors. I didn't see the three doctors, and now I went to the two doctors, which makes me not really want to watch the three doctors. <laughs> well, three doctors is a key episode. Whereas the two doctors, I mean, that's the thing. The five doctors was a key episode. The three doctors was a key episode. This was a throwaway episode. <laughs> this was like, let's see how much pain we can cause humanity. So was there anything you liked about the episode? Uh, the parts with Troughton were almost watchable. You see, I don't think they wrote Troughton correctly in that. In this. Oh, so they, they didn't, but he's, he's a strong enough actor that he could make even the shittiest possible material, which is what they gave him, almost work. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Which one was Troughton? The second Doctor. Second Doctor, okay. Yeah. Still getting used to the names of the older Doctor. Um, yeah. He's pretty awesome, and he... He almost managed to pull this out. It it didn't work because the material was god awful. Really yeah. Shitty. Um, you know, uh, Tronin was actually in a horror, an American horror film. Huh. He was in the original Omen. He played oh. a priest. Neat. I mean, he's only in it for a very you know like one scene, but that's it. But yeah, no. Um, two doctors. Mm. Not all that great. Oh, the Omen. That's another thing we watched. <laughs> Of this. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're, we're not Omen Pirate Radio. Can we be? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, don't you just think what we just watched was the, uh, the, the one of the signs of the apocalypse? <laughs> yeah. So technically, in a sense, we just... We, we, I, I, I just... I... I'm not capable of anything but hate, and I'm not sure if that's ever going to change. I will never love again after this. <laughs> no, we'll show you some good stuff, because you know what we're going to watch next week? Tor 
Gertrude! And I just finished watching all of it two weeks ago. Did you watch Children of Men? No, I mean all of season one. Okay. Piper's second season, they were missing three discs or something. And so I was like, shit. So you get some John Barrowman love next week. Oh, John Barrowman. Okay, that would be pretty cool. The real, the, real, the real question is how much of Barrowman we're going to see. <laughs> John Barrowman did like that Doctor Who trivia show that you made me, that you put on the computer. Oh, the uh, Boondocks? Buzz Buzzcocks? Oh yeah, the Buzzcocks, that was really funny. Catherine Tate. Yeah. And, you know, um, so was there anything you liked about the episode, Lacey? Well, considering during the second episode, <laughs> I fell asleep. That was the first episode. That was the first episode? Yeah. Uh, I, I fell asleep at some point, and I was really trying to figure if it was because I had six jello shots, or if it was just the show. And it's then- okay. It's okay, you were only out for half an hour, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> See, because I know I kept dozing off, and then like I woke, we woke up, I woke up, and then Clayton was like, "Please, can we have a break, please?" And I was like, "Cool, I'm gonna go out and smoke." <laughs> but I was like, "I don't remember what happened." But I was really trying to figure out if it was really that awful, or it was alcohol. I was trying to be nice and say it was the alcohol, but it might be the alcohol. Yeah. So I just like seeing the second doctor. And I'm glad the, the makeup artists have improved over the years because the Centurions, well, I can't, Centaurans, Centaurans um, oh, like, they're, they're awesome. Yeah, they're really cool, but I like how the makeup's better because all I can do is keep staring at their lips and not really moving. Oh, no, yeah, they weren't moving at all. One of them had somewhat movable lips, the other ones had no movable lips. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and all I could think was like, they got cooler later on, you know, they get yeah, in in yeah. in current new, yeah, in new who, yeah. classic Sontarans aren't capable of producing tremendous oh, amounts of lactic, lactic, lactic fluid. fluid. Yeah, so. no, actually, um, I look forward to you guys seeing the first Sarah Jane Smith episode. It's also a Sontaran episode. Sontaran episode. I'm already and, sold. And the makeup job on that, on those guys, on the one that they have in there, is actually pretty incredible. Cool. Yeah. Now it's 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 nice to see the transition from the classic who to the new who. And now, you know, since I've seen currently half of season five of New Who and what's out of six, season six and seeing the classic Who and where some of the original, I guess, villains or monsters, other monsters have originated from and seeing the you know, evolution through the time and improvement of it. I mean, I really think that's cool. Yeah, you, you from going from no budget to a budget. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, all I could think of, all I could, I, I, when Clayton were watching, he was like, "Is that a cat pin on his suit?" Yes. And then I was like, "What?" And then all I could do is stare at Colin Bakers. You know, cat, cat pin. Cat pin. Yeah. Yeah. No, Colin, Colin got a rough deal. Um, it's like the Technic Jesus in the Technicolor coat, but in a suit. Just which we just which we finished watching the entire season with Calvin Baker. He might kill himself. It's going to be a while because you know we got to make it through the first Doctor, the second Doctor, the third Doctor, the fourth Doctor, the fifth Doctor. Any new Who, and then you know we'll finally get to the sixth. But you know what comes after the sixth Doctor? The seventh Doctor, and Sylvester's awesome. I think he's going to kill me. I, I can't have even never see hated it. another human being more than I hate you right now. Though I think before we actually watch it episode by episode, we're gonna watch all the post reader or the death death episodes, regeneration episodes back to back for all the doctors. He looks like he's gonna hurt. Himself. Yeah. The joys of being on Gallifrey Pirate Radio. Yeah. Uh, do we have any closing thoughts? Words of wisdom. If you ever show this to him again, I'm pretty sure he'll break shit. If you're ever going to put someone on a TV show entirely on the basis of her cleavage, it's probably a good idea not to constantly put her next to a guy wearing the most hideous coat ever constructed <laughs> to just draw attention away from said cleavage. You're sort of just working at cross purposes at that point. Yeah, that Always is. Always making the the, the freaking female comedians. Well, oh, no, I mean it's tradition. I don't like it, and that's because I'm a chick. 
<laughs> yeah, no, that, that's that's the one bad thing about Perry. She actually was a decent companion when she was with Davison, and then she just became slapstick in a sense with Colin. But um, next week, yeah, we get our first episode of Miracle Day and Torchwood, and the big burning question on just about every lady's mind: How much of Barrowman are we gonna see? What do you mean? Would it be all heteronormative? Do you mean like him appearing that. or him in the... Will we see his junk? Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah. I get really nervous and giddy when he's like making out with other people because I'm like, oh. Yeah. But then I'm like, you're so gay. Yeah. So um, next week we have, we're going to have a special uh, co-host next week. Um, unfortunately, she will only be here for one episode in until, I mean, I, I forget how many weeks Torchwood's going to run. Um, so we might only get her from one episode. But we'll we'll save the surprise on who this, this special guest is going to be. Um, and then, like I said, next week is uh, Torchwood Mir Miracle Day. All I can say is thank God Gwen slightly grew her personality in Season 1, or I was not going to watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really worried that now. Yeah. 